for our efforts to diversify the economy and the proposed allocation to the sector this year is at a historic high of 92 billion naira. This sum will complement the existing effort by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Central Bank of Nigeria to boost agricultural productivity through increased intervention funding at single digit interest rate under the ANCA borrowers program, commercial agriculture credit scheme and the Nigerian incentive based risk sharing system for agricultural lending. Accordingly, our agricultural policy will focus on the integrated development of the agricultural sector by facilitating access to inputs, providing market access, providing equipment and storage, as well as supporting the development of commodity exchanges. Government realizes that achieving the goals with regards to job creation also requires improving the skills of our labor force, especially young people. We have accordingly made provision, including working with the private sector and state governments to establish and operate model technical and vocational education institutes. We propose with regard to health care to expand coverage through support to primary health care centers and expanding the national health insurance scheme. The 2007 budget estimates retained the allocation of 500 billion naira to the social intervention program consisting of the homegrown school feeding program, government economic empowerment program, power job creation program to provide loans for traders, artisans, conditional cash transfers to the poorest families and the new family homes fund social housing scheme. The power program has certainly taken up with the employment of 200,000 graduates across the country, while the school feeding program has commenced in a few states where the verification of caterers has been completed. As we produce, as we pursue economic recovery, we must remain mindful of issues of sustainable and inclusive growth and development. The significant vote for the Federal Ministry of Water Resources reflect the importance attached to integrated water resources management. In this regard, many river basin projects have been prioritized for completion in 2017. Similarly, the increased vote of 9.52 billion naira for the Federal Ministry of Environment, an increase of 92% over 2016 allocation underscores the greater attention to matters of the environment, including climate change and leveraging private sector funding for the clean up of the Niger Delta. Provision has also been made in these estimates for the activities that will foster a safe and conducive atmosphere for the pursuit of economic and social activities. In this regard, the allocation of the Presidential Amnesty Program has been increased to, 50, to 65 billion naira in 2017 budget. Furthermore, 45 billion naira in funding has been provisioned for rehabilitation of the Northeast to 
complement the funds domiciled at the Presidential Committee on the North East Initiative, as well as commitments received from the international donors. Mr. Senate President, Mr. Speaker, distinguished honorable members of the National Assembly, I cannot end without commending the National Assembly for the support in steering our economy on a path of sustained and inclusive growth. <laughs> this generation has an opportunity to move our country from an unsustainable growth model, one that is largely dependent on oil earnings and imports, to an economy that focuses on using local labor and local raw materials, we cannot afford to let this opportunity slip by. We must all put, put our differences aside and work together to make this country succeed. The people that voted us in these esteemed positions are looking to us to make a difference. To change the course of this nation, I have no doubt in my mind that my working together, we will put Nigeria back on the path that its founding fathers envisaged. This budget, therefore, represents a major step in delivering on our desired goals through a strong partnership across the arms of government and between the public and private sectors to create inclusive growth. <coughs> Implementation will move to center stage as we proceed with the process of rebalancing our economy, exciting recession, and insulating it from future external and domestic shocks. I thank you for all your patience and patriotism. Thank you very much. Excellency Mr. President, may I invite you formally now to lay the budget. Seventeen budget proposal before the National Assembly. And he's now shaking hands with the Senate President and the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Next, we're going to have the vote of thanks from the Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives. Thank you. 
in the right back. Honorable Yakubo Dogara. Zesaki. Your, your Excellency, Mr. President, you, Mr. President, you observed that uh, we wanted you to lay it because we trust with your hands the thing will stay here. We do not go. Before I call on the Honorable Speaker, to make a vote of thanks to you, permit me to please let me, before I get to any further, I recognize the chairman of my party, Chief Uyuguwai, and the national executive. Now I'll call on the Honorable Speaker for the vote of thanks. Honorable Speaker.